It may not look like it, but that's gold under the barn. This is where it all begins. I'm Brian Watkins, and I'm proud to be an Ohio pork producer. It's a fact of life when you keep animals that you're gonna have a lot of that produced every day. And in a barn like this, that falls down through the floor and becomes gold under the barn. Corn and soybeans are food for pigs, and animal manure is food for corn and soybeans. The manure has become much more valuable as, as because it really is its energy and its nutrients, and those things have become much more valuable or much more expensive, however, however you want to look at it, in terms of farming and in terms of food production. So we really have a lot of incentive to handle the stuff right and to make it, uh, to utilize every bit of it. Animals typically will produce enough manure to fertilize enough land to raise enough food for the animals. And so if we handle it properly and we don't let any of it sort of seep away, we can make sure that we're as efficient as we can be. So we store manure uh, either under the barns or in uh, an outdoor lagoon. And then when uh, the conditions are right, we'll, we'll apply it with equipment to the field. The most typical and best way that we apply manure is in the fall after harvest. We have a nice mat, mat of dry carbon material on the surface of the soil. The soil is typically drier at that time of year, and so we can go in then and use our equipment to apply it to the, to the crops. Of course, there are two different, three different ways that you can apply manure, but we're typically using uh, a tool that, a, a honey wagon is what it's known as, uh, the honey, the gold, uh, uh, and uh, tractors to put, take it out to the field. And then we're making sure that we apply it. We're not throwing it up in the air, uh, but trying to keep it down close to the surface, either right at the surface or just slightly below the surface. We'll apply lime ahead of the uh, manure application, uh, which has a couple of great benefits. Number one, manure is acidic, and so it balances that out. But another thing is, is lime is a great uh, odor control, and we typically uh, eliminate, we think, almost all of our odors when we're uh, applying manure to a limed field. We do a lot of things in terms of the timings of application, uh, the way we use no-till and leave our crop residues on the surface. Uh, one of the great things about no-till and animal manure is that those residues kind of balance out the animal manure and you sort of are creating a composting action on the surface of the soil that really locks the nutrients in there and, and doesn't let them escape. As grain farmers, which we're also grain farmers as well as livestock farmers, again, we're trying to think biologically, ecologically, we're trying to set up our system to maintain the nutrients on the land. Uh, whether they're commercial or whether they're animal manures. I think the fact that we use a lot of animal manure just raises the bar a little bit more in terms of that outlook. Where we have um, streams and waterways next to our field, we'll put, we have filter strips uh, to uh, you know, provide a buffer. They also, uh, an added benefit of that, sort of a side benefit is additional wildlife habitat, uh, but primarily they're there to filter the water. And we try to do that everywhere we have a stream because uh, the environment is important to us and it's important to our neighbors.